From the dawn of rocket flight, we have dreamed of slipping from the bonds of gravity on Earth and floating free. But you don't need to go into space to float. Physicists had known for some time that an aircraft flying stomach-churning arcs in the sky could offset the force of gravity. And ever since, space agencies, scientists, joyriders and even film companies have been taking advantage of the shortcut to zero gravity. What do you think this zero-g experience is going to actually feel like? Like that. You get to fly more than birds do for 20 seconds. To be perfectly honest, I really have no idea. I just imagine that I'm just going to be feeling lighter than I've ever felt and that it's just going to be an amazing feeling. Well, we've been showing a few videos of people having this experience and most of them share one common facial expression, which is basically... If you want to fly these kind of weightless aerobatics, you've got to go to a space agency. And the biggest plane which can do it is owned by the Russians. Their Aleutian 76 has a vast cargo carrying space, large enough for a spacecraft set. All the weightless shots for the whole series needed to be filmed during just 30 parabolas. And to ensure that we got everything, the costume and prop changes between scenes were carefully choreographed to make the best use of time. The team spent the week before the flights fitting it with lights and cameras. At one end was a green screen which we could later place the spacecraft background into. At the other end we built a node, a junction point inside Pegasus that we could film a lot of float through shots from. Entering each parabola, the plane goes into a steep climb, rushing up the height of a 40 storey building every second. This doubles the sensation of gravity and forces you to lie on the floor. And then, as you go over the top of the arc and into a dive, the action begins. It feels liberating and uh, it feels freer than working with gravity. But you are novice to it. It felt like you were actually flying. Or another way of looking at it, it's like being underwater, never having to come up to breathe. If it, were, if it weren't for the nausea, it would be so enjoyable. I thought it would be like flying dreams, and I found it was like flying dreams. Except for, I was feeling very sort of macho about not being sick. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I wasn't sick at all. I was a very, very good student. <laughs> With the team used to the sensation of weightlessness, there was a job to do. On each dive, a new scene had to be shot involving tricky costume changes and an assortment of new props to float into place. It was hard, but I mean, as we got three minutes between each time we had to go into the next kind of 2G, 0G, which of course doesn't sound very long, but if you've got three minutes then you have to utilise that time as much as possible. I made sure that I did a really speedy change. I had all my changes all set out and I knew exactly what I needed to be putting on so that before setting up for a scene I was able to just get some idea and remember just what we were doing. I was at one point trying to squirt water and pick everyone's face in a kind of party atmosphere way. And you're meant to sort of just leave it out there for somebody to like take a shot from. But unfortunately, I just kept shooting people in the eye. And they kept looking at me just like with these hateful glances with nauseous stomachs. And I'm just like, <laughs> just spraying them all down. But, uh, and it was again in that attempt to make it look like we've been doing it for six years and that it was, you know, just dead easy to do all this stuff. And clearly it, it isn't. Some of the scenes we did actually shoot twice. For example, there's a scene where a camera is dropped from above, basically being passed to me. I grabbed hold of it, and for the whole of the first take, I kept it in my hand. But because we got to do it again, it was always scheduled to go again. The second time, I just stopped it where it was and let it float for a while without, without indicating too much, look, we're in zero gravity, everybody. We had a great one where uh, the two guys are coming in from a planet, and we're there to meet them. And we did this fantastic sort of semi-group hug, which gave a two-person hug, and we were just spinning in the air, and you couldn't have done that with wires or something, and it felt great. From a Russian cargo plane 10,000 feet above the Moscow suburbs to the weightless airlock of Pegasus, welcoming Ivan and Zoe home from Venus. Another priceless weightless shot in the can.
I'll never forget it. <laughs> it's so not a distant memory. <laughs>